is Mr. Infro. I'm in front of the McLean House here at Appomattox, Virginia. It's uh, July 25th, 2012. I'm just going to move around here so you can see it. Um, this is the actual home that is the site of the surrender where Robert, General Robert E. Lee will surrender his army to General Ulysses S. Grant. And uh, this is an historic place, and that happened on April 9th, 1865. Uh, the McLean House is uh, Wilmer McLean's home, and uh, he is asked by Confederate General to allow uh, the talks to go on here to discuss the surrendering of Lee's army to Grant. Uh, and uh, the house itself is, a, you can see, is a three-story uh, colonial home, brick home, and uh, it, the National Park Service owns it. It's part of what is called the Appomattox Courthouse Village here in Appomattox, Virginia. The whole place here is known as Appomattox Courthouse Village. A lot of people think that Lee surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse. Well, that's partially true. It's, he surrendered in the village, but he actually surrendered here at the McLean House. So. Uh, that again happened on April 9th and uh, before that uh, Lee uh, was in a bad position. He was in Petersburg and Richmond and his army was pretty much uh, pinned down and uh, he was entrenched there and he was being cut off from his supplies by uh, Grant and his generals. So Lee is going to make his way uh, westward in retreat to get away from Richmond and he's going to head this way to uh, Appomattox. Uh, he'll go through Farmville, uh, and he'll have a battle right before Farmville called Sailor's Creek, and a lot of his men get killed there, but he continues westward, still try, trying to get south. He's trying to get south to get resupplied because his soldiers are hungry, they haven't eaten in forever, so uh, he's trying to make it south, and he's going west to go south because Grant is pursuing him. Now, uh, he's trying to make it to Farmville in this area to, to go south on the railroad. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't make it. He, uh, for, for him, it's unfortunate. Uh, he doesn't make it and he has to end up uh, surrendering. And Grant will send him a letter asking him to surrender and eventually Lee will send correspondence back to Grant saying that he would like to talk in terms of the conditions of surrender and uh, Lee sends one of his officers out to look for a place to do that and his officer uh, ends up finding this place or talking to Wilmer McLean and Wilmer McLean brings him to his house and shows him his house and they end up having the actual surrender here. Now Mr. McLean will try to obviously uh, he will consider his home a, a famous place after that and he'll eventually sell it for more than it's worth uh, to another person and that person will try to take it apart and does take it apart and take it to Washington DC. Unfortunately, the house never makes it there and they run out of money and the boards and everything rot outside of the home. A lot of the bricks were taken away as souvenirs, so not much is left of the original home. The foundation is original and uh, some of the, about a thousand or a few thousand of the bricks are original according to the National Park Service ranger who gave me a tour of it. So uh, some of the terms of the surrender, when Lee actually does surrender on April 9th, is that uh, of course, everyone gets to go home, including Lee. All of them get to go home. Nobody's thrown in prison. Uh, they're all granted parole, and uh, they're all given a sheet of paper that says they've been paroled. That's their proof, so when they leave here, they, they show that they've been paroled. Uh, now, the men have to surrender their weapons and all their ammunition and uh, anything that would be seen as, you know, something threatening to other soldiers. And uh, the only exception is uh, the officers in the Confederate Army get to keep their sidearms or their pistols. And that was just a gentlemanly thing between officers uh, that went on. Now, uh, the horses were also given to the men. If they had a horse, they could take the horse with them. If they didn't have a horse, then they had to make the 100 or 1,000 mile trip home, depending on where they lived in the South. We're in Virginia, right? And there's men all over the South fighting here under Lee's Army. So, and a lot of them haven't been paid in a year. So it's a pretty bad situation. 
So they make their way home after Lee surrenders here. Now the war doesn't end. The war's going to go on for a little while, all the way up through June. Eventually the war will end. But this is the last major uh, encounter with Robert E. Lee's army. And Robert E. Lee is, you know, the leading general of the Northern Army of Virginia and the leading general in the Confederacy. So when, once he's defeated, uh, it's just a matter of time before the rest of the army is defeated. And then it takes literally just a few more months. And that happens. So just wanted to show you a little bit of this history. It's pretty neat to actually come here and visit. So if you're ever up this way uh, towards uh, Lynchburg, Virginia, just a little past Lynchburg, Virginia, going east towards Richmond, stop by Appomattox and visit the Appomattox Courthouse and the McLean, the McLean home, or what is known as Appomattox Courthouse Village, and uh, visit the McLean home and see the actual site of the surrender. Hope you've enjoyed this. This is Mr. Infro. See ya.